Hey y'all, welcome to Spend Thrive Farm. My name is Autry and I work in our marketing department here and I am going to be your tour guide. So if you'll come on in, we'll take a tour of our stallion complex. We're now standing in front of our breeding shed. So this is the crux of our business. This is what Spenther Farm is all about. We call ourselves the breeder's farm. Everything we do is with the purpose of breeding our stallions. So in here, this building was built recently. It's only a couple of years old. Before that, we had our one room breeding shed built in the 1950s. When you have 24 stallions, it makes things a little bit tough. So when we come in here, you will see we have a nice spongy material that is basically like what you'd see in a playground. We have this to reduce concussion of our stallion's feet as they come in the shed. It is breeding season, they rip, roar, stomp around, and we want to protect them the best that we can. We are now inside of the breeding shed. So this is, as they say, where the magic happens. Um, the stallions will come in the main doors and they will come in here to breed the mares. Now the mares do not stay at our farm. While we do breed the majority of our own mares to our stallions, this year we're going to breed over 2,000 mares. So they come from all over. They come just to breed and then they head back home. They do not stay here overnight. We are a private farm, meaning all the horses on this farm belong to us. So the mares will arrive and they may be at Spendthrift for 20 to 30 minutes total from arrival to departure. When the mares come in, they will come into the breeding shed here and stand against this. They'll get a few things on them for safety purposes. Everything we do in this room is safety oriented. If a horse gets hurt or a person, that's really bad. So we want to make sure we're all safe. One thing we use are these boots here. So these will go on the mare's back feet. They are leather and padded. Uh, if a horse kicks you, it hurts. If they kick you with these, it doesn't hurt as bad. So really the goal is to protect us and our horses. In addition to these boots, the mares will get this shield on their back. So when a stallion is breeding a mare, sometimes they will bite down on the mare to steady themselves. So instead of hurting her, they will bite down on these leather flaps here. So again, it's just all for protective purposes. Uh, other than that, that's for the most part what we use. Once the cover is complete, we actually have a veterinarian on staff here all the time during every breeding to make sure everything went okay. And once we get the thumbs up, the stallion heads back to his barn and the mare heads out. Here's a fun little fact, Malibu Moon gets a care after every breeding. Just one of those things. We are now standing on the back half of our breeding shed. We are getting ready for breeding right now, so it's gonna be a little busy. You're gonna see people walking around, maybe some horses, uh, getting ready for the afternoon session. At Spendthrift, we breed at 7 a.m., 2 p.m., and 7 p.m., seven days a week. From this year, we open on February 10th, and we'll close around July 4th. Some stallions can breed all three times. Some breed twice, some breed once a day. Really what it determines that is if the mares that are, have contracts to breed to them are in heat. So horses only breed for reproductive purposes. If a mare is not in heat, she will not allow a stallion to breed her and there's no use in bringing her here. Where we are right now, these are our holding stalls. So all four of these stalls will hold a mare when they're ready to breed. We have two sheds that actually run simultaneously. So we were in one of them earlier. Um, there's one that mirrors that as well. But we may be breeding, you know, we have 24 stallions on our roster. We might be breeding 18 mares at 2 p.m. right now. They gotta go somewhere. So these stalls will hold the mares once they're prepped and ready to be bred. And then further behind me, you will see mare prepping happen. So when the mare is bred, we will wrap up her tail and clean off her whole backside. The last thing that we want is any kind of bacterial spread, infection, any of that. So we try to be as clean as possible um, and efficient to make sure everybody gets in and out safely and in a healthy state. 
When mares arrive to the breeding shed, they will get a stallion tag on their halter. So uh, when a mare comes in, we check her paperwork, make sure that she is the mare that we expected to come, and then she will get one of these stallion clips on her halter. That clip will not come off until she is actually in the breeding shed room. That way, if we have 12 mares here, all of them are bay or brown horse with one white sock. We don't lose track of who's who. So these will go on there, but sometimes you'll see these red tags. These red tags here are called jump tags. So these are for if a mare needs to be jumped by a teaser stallion. A teaser is exactly what he sounds like. He's an intact male, typically not a thoroughbred, uh, who jumps the mare before the stallion actually comes in. There are a couple of reasons why we may do this, and a big one of those reasons is if we have a maiden mare. So if, if we have a mare who has never been bred before, and this is her first time here, she just came off the racetrack, then we will jump her with a teaser because the process of being jumped is foreign to her, and it may make her nervous, or she may not know what's going on. So we would rather send in a smaller, lighter horse to jump her before one of our big stallions jumps her, really for safety purposes. So behind me, you will see our stakes wall. So these are all stakes winners that were conceived in a spendthrift breeding shed since the farm started. They go all the way back to 1941 and go all the way through 2019. We put up half the year in September, and then we will put up the rest of 2020 in January next year. Thank you all so much for joining us on our tour today. We hope you enjoyed it. You can find us on all social media platforms. We are on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok as Spencer Farm. And we hope you had fun joining us today.